right, so we started hiking about 5.30ish, 6 o'clock. We're up here. It's about 7.30ish, I'm guessing. But, uh, we're gonna go take a poopish. Yeah. But we're in some pretty cool country. I'm gonna try to see if we can locate some some elk. Hopefully find some herd bulls. But if we could find a pretty nice satellite bull, we'll take him too. But it's pretty early in September, so we'll see how much they're rutting. And uh, we'll see if we can get in on them. But we also have some mule deer tags, so if we see a big one, we'll see if we go after it. But other than that, we're just going to come up here and see if we can chase some bugles. <laughs> so just like that we've located four yep, deer four deer three gray body deer today. yeah there's three gray body deer that look somewhat like buck but it's kind of cool because this is the first time that i've had i have two tags in my pocket i could go for either or if the opportunity presents itself, but yeah. keep glassing and see exactly what they are. I might pull out the phone scope if it's worth it, or the spotting scope with the phone scope. Oh, there's four. Really? Four gray ones. Hey, that's a buck in that herd, man. I'll have to find it. Looking over this bull up here. Well, wool. Yeah. Not bull. Yeah, you know, bull. <laughs> We're in. Hitting the wall for the day, so we get some coffee going. Get some uh, energy and caffeine in us. So, we did let a bugle out a little bit ago, and we didn't hear anything back, but I think they're going to start moving around more into the evening. And uh, we saw what looks like a scrape down there, so this area does look like a really good area so fingers crossed we could locate the elk but I'll be alright with finding a nice four point buck too <laughs> but. arrangements for tonight. Not bad. We wanted to go light weight this trip so we are using a tarp for our shelter. Um, so pretty much we show you inside. Coming here we have a trekking pole to create the ceiling. Austin's bed my bed. Then we have the four corners connected 550 cord towards the base of the tree. Not bad. Should get, keep the weather off.
so it hasn't really been but it kind of has been a long day just a long day of nothing really other than seeing seven dough that's it but hopefully get the skunk is like <laughs> for sure hopefully something turns up this evening we're kind of wrapping around this little knob that we're on looking at these meadows that are around us to see if anything comes out so we'll see what happens though almost look like twins brothers then you have the little one up in the top it's like I just want to hang out with the big guys yeah, I think it's meant to be the best one <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, we get killed out here. Don't call this Yeah, cause Jim died last year because of your irresponsibleness, <laughs> neglect, and carelessness. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> so careless. camp got up to our glass point we're gonna eat breakfast get some coffee in us and uh, do a bit of glassing while we do that and then we're gonna start walking ridge lines so. yeah another beautiful thing the mountains had to offer us today Other than elk and deer, it's been a beautiful morning. And that, my friends, is what happens when the wind shifts.
a weird feeling we should just back out, it's too thick. Cause if he's bedding, maybe it's gonna be it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think we should pull out and go glass and see if others come down or whatever, and if it gets too late, we could... Cool. Down in the valley, you can't see the mountains. Down in the mountains, you can't see the valley. We're pretty high up here, like 10 miles. And uh, then you come up and you're expecting to have crisp, clean air. Yeah. It still looks pretty. Some call me a sinner for the things I've done.